Um, dialogue and scenes is one of the tasks for this month as well. Um, that I'm mostly doing off stream, but there might be the odd dialogue and scene stream if not, if we want to have one. If it's if it feels like it'll be a good time to do it, I kind of don't plan too much about what the streams are going to be. It's whatever we need to work on, really. Um, but we've got here. So Carol's flashback this week. I'm going to say, guys, I'm going to get that posted in the Discord for you all to see this weekend. let's change it to weekend i did want to do it this week i was thinking of doing it tomorrow on my day off but i'm gonna dedicate tomorrow to finishing off the animations for the for the for the first 12 skills instead so that'll be something i'm gonna do the weekend it's all just about us just uh, making sure it's perfect perfecting it now because it's mostly done and then next week it will be I'll be doing the fruit flashback and getting that put on. Um, but in the meantime, we're doing battle mechanics. And today, um, I wanted to research into Dawning Wolf, which is a summon. It's um, a hunter skill in our game. And uh, some some because we do have a summoner class, but there'll be the other classes. Some of them will probably use the odd summon as well. Not every class, of course, because it's not always appropriate. But for the odd class or two, like hunter felt appropriate because hunter animals. There's usually a link there. So having a wolf summon and a couple of other sort of hunter type animals for one of the branches felt like a cool thing to do to make hunter feel a bit different from warrior as well um i'll try and have a jump out of here because i'm on mobile yep i mean yay let's say hi and welcome hold her into the discord okay so yeah we have a creative work channel so feel free to pop any of your stuff in there and any of the other channels if you want to pop anything in there too that would be fantastic can the weapons be resized okay so we generally double the size of the weapons anyway in right for raindrop chronicles because as we that is how let's get let's get a random character sheet up just to say um So this is just a random uh, warrior custom hero that you can end up with. Um, and uh, the actual size of this uh, custom hero sprite sheet is double what the default is. So that means we have to double the size of the weapon as well. Because otherwise it would be a tiny thing in, the ha in their hand. So yeah, it, we times it by two. Um, and uh, we just layer the... The weapon over the sprite sheet so it's uh, in their hand this is what we did with let's get one of the axes or bows out for our characters um but other than that like with pixel art it's it could go a bit distorted if it if it's uh, resized at an odd size so it either has to be times two or times four i think but obviously times four would be like huge so um but if i know what ray do you're you you're using a big sword for your character because you're having you're being a blade master and he's gonna have the big sword big sword guy so generally i think if if, if you layered that one of those swords over your sprite sheet you'd probably say it's probably going to be quite large, I'd say, because they, they look quite big on the, uh, from the ones I've seen anyway. Um, so the sprites are actually tw 128 by 128. Uh, I've completely forgot what the dimensions were on them again now, so let's just have a... Because I don't, don't know if... Because, uh... hang on, there's nine across here and i've got to use a calculator to figure out what uh, the actual size is again um but i don't know if it is a square so 
152 divided by 9. 128, that's correct. Um, but is it 100? So let's see the length as well. Divided by six. Yeah, it looks like you're right. So you're you 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 knew it before me, uh, Ray. Do GJ? Because I always forget that because the walking sprites, the battle sprites, the icons, everything's a different size in in RPG Maker. So I keep, I keep forgetting which ones are which usually. But yeah, it seems like it is 28 by 28 for each frame. On the battle sprite chain by default that's whatever half of that is and um we i decided to double the assets simply because we're using we're changing the resolution of raindrop chronicles we're using the um normal uh, ratio resolution that works best for the 128p and 70 720p monitors um, rather than the little tiny square box that's RPG Maker's default. So for that reason, when we did change the screen size, it, it like the original sprites looked tiny on there, like very small. So doubling it up has worked perfectly. That was a decision we made about stream 50 or so, I think. And, um, and everything, yeah, look at that. It's, it actually looks quite crisp as well because uh, with pixel art you can really size it on nearest neighbour in Photoshop and it can look pretty, pretty cool. So it's all looking pretty decent visually. And brilliant, thank you. Would I need to mark human animated battler bases as not safe for work? I think that will be fine. Um, I mean, you can do it anyway if it, if it makes you feel better to mark it as not safe for work. But yeah, it shouldn't be an issue at all to post. So, totally. And do 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 you use nearest neighbor when resizing if you use Photoshop? But yes, hold it. Holder said it as I said it too. Actually, I was, before I even read it. But yeah, that's a hundred percent what you have to use when doing Pixar because otherwise it'd look disgusting. <laughs> so, but it's it's very great that it's totally doable because usually with a lot of enlargement with art, it doesn't work out. But um, with pixel art and nearest neighbor it does as long as it's all resized at the proper measurements of course um right so where were we and yes yeah, so we, we've worked on the first 12 skills and we're implementing them at the moment we spent last stream having a, a chat about what their animations could be for each of them and we actually looked at some sites um and had a look at some of the animations for ideas and we had a few. I have actually done Adrenaline um, and Warcry already. Frenzy doesn't need an animation because it's a passive skill. And Plant Plucker was going to have, I mean, no, that's Squish It, not Plant Plucker. This is Plant Plucker, so Squish It. Um, I was going to have an animation and it still might, but I was thinking maybe a sound effect would work better for that as an um, indicator that the passive has worked on a plant enemy. So, um, so yes, and uh, I found a really good plugin actually that's really been cool for the battle animations. It's... Um, a visual effects one by Yan Fly, and basically what it does is allow an animation to stay on the screen the whole time um, because by default the engine only allows the animation to be played once as the skill is being cast but this this plugin lets that an, an animation stay there and that's it worked quite well for adrenaline because I've like given the the player that's used it a little glow when he's on adrenaline so it's a good indicator that he's he's got that he, he's got that um he's under that state and same for war cry i've done this for war cry which was an idea by somebody last room i think it was mia said that you know the little angry symbol above the enemy's head so that's that symbol will be on 
the enemy's head that has been provoked basically and we'll, we'll do a test play later at the battle and we'll have a look at how those skills look because i think they look pretty cool at the moment still got to implement the others and that's what i'm going to do on the day off tomorrow um but we need to look into dawning wolf because that that is one skill we still need to do as we've got here all four, four skills are done apart from dawning wolf okay so um hello those look awesome hi cornelius how you doing it's lovely to see you i hope you're having a great day okie doke right so so i've got i've put in rpg maker summoning now i'm doing this completely blind I have no idea how summoning works in RPG Maker. It's one thing I haven't looked into yet, but I do know that there's options. It's going to just be about finding the best one and one that actually, a plugin that actually works well with the plugins we've already got, ideally. Um, but we'll see what there is. Um, there, has, there was a, a bit of talk about how dawning wolf could work which i do have on a, a document somewhere so i might look at that in a bit um but all we know is it's going to be a wolf that's summoned in battle and you use the skill and that wolf will in some way be able to assist the party in battle and however we that's going to be we don't really know yet that's why we need to see what options we've got because in many like rpgs like when we think about say all the final fantasies they all handle summons very differently um in some final fantasies the summons were actually there in battle right next to the character and you could actually control them but in other final fantasies they were sort of just like a special skill there'd be like a little animation and they'd hit the enemies and then they'd be gone but you couldn't actually use them um so yes it's just seeing what's available really in rpg maker when it comes to summoning and, and deciding which one's the best one so let's click on i'm gonna just click on a few of uh links and see what peeps have said this one seems to be the one that's coming up a lot this summoning hall one um i don't know if does yanfly have any summoning plugins i'm gonna look but if not this looks like the one that we might be using as long as it's compatible but we have we do use some of this person's plugins as well, so it might be cool. Um, oh, it does seem that there are some. Compatibility issues, but this seems like quite a popular plugin, so. But yeah, I usually don't get attached to plugins until I know that it's not going to mess up the game. But it's good; it's worth exploring and experimenting with today because uh, we need that. We need that dawning wolf. The hunter is not at their fullest potential until we've implemented that skill. So we need to make sure that we've done it. Um, right, one sec, guys, because I want to. I want to check. if Yanfly has any summon plugins but I'm not sure they do. I put oh I put some moon in so <laughs> right so I don't think there is because I've put uh summon in the word finder but there's none so um looks like this might be the one This plugin allows developers to create skills that summon actors into the player's party using various perimeters. Okay. I want to see the video because it always helps me a lot to actually see how the things work. So, 
um, Yeah, let's have it on higher quality so we can see what's going on here. I don't want to skip, I want to take it all in properly. <laughs> Ooh, that looks pretty snazzy. I want to watch that again. But I want to say, like, because I've been implementing the skills this last week and starting all the animations with them, I'm, I'm very pleased with what's there so far. And, of course, there might be a bit more tidying up between now and episode one's release when it comes to how everything looks in the battle system, but I'm satisfied right now for our first build, how things are going. But it's very important and it's priority at the moment to get make sure that all those uh, four skills uh, for each of those three current playable character classes are working because you can't, there's not, we can't have a playable build until they are. Um, and of course the cutscenes as well. And I feel like once we've, uh, once we've implemented those skills and we've got it all looking working perfectly, um, we've done those cutscenes I mentioned, and we've put it all together. I feel at that point we we're on the way. We're on the way to getting um, a playable build. Um, it'll just be about tidying up, making sure there's no bugs and all that after that point. Um, National, how are you doing? That dress, how do you say something about the wolf helping in some way? Is it possible for the wolf to sometimes bring an item when summoned? Something like 15-25% of the time it brings a level 1 healing item or a bomb. Oh, so like, you mean like something just ends up in your inventory once anything random once the wolf has been some is there any games that do that because that's quite an interesting mechanic but i'm all i'm all for thinking of how to make this wolf special like um of course we need to be careful the wolf's not too op because then everybody's gonna just want to be a hunter in our game and no one will pick warrior as their starting class so it's about getting that balance right um but I think it, it, it kind of links in with the hunter with bringing an item, perhaps. I mean, the hunter has the plant plucker skill, which means they get extra loot from the plant enemies. Um, which, they're, they're, it, they're, if you want the loot, then hunter's the, the class to be, I guess. Um, but they don't probably don't have the power as much as um, warrior does. Warrior's the powerful guy. Um... But um, yeah, so uh, and just uploaded some idle pose examples of my work into creative work. Hope that's the right area for you to check out after your stream. Yeah, Ross, I will definitely be looking harder. I'll be having a peek at those. But yeah, um, so do you create assets then, or do you um, do you make your own RPG or buy? I'm very intrigued tonight. Um, it's a combination between the Fallout 4 dog and regular summons and some reason to make the wolf appear beyond more damage. Oh, so Fallout 4 dog. Cool. I'm going to look into that because I did play a bit of Fallout 4 but not much. So I'm going to have to get a bit of inspiration from that, I think. But it does sound interesting and I think that's what I want today, today's stream to be, to like consider this summon a little bit because we haven't had much chance to talk, talk about this skill yet and it's going to be one that you know we need to it's important because summoning is something that's going to continue throughout the game with certain classes not just hunter we have a character Zexion's character that actually is a summoner so he's going to have all summons and then we've got Glacian's character who's a dragon tamer and he summons dragon dragon summons so um and there's been a few little bits of discussion in at other times of summons being used 
for certain instances, like someone mentioned Stumpy, the little tree enemy, being a potential summon um, if you do a certain path in Stumpy's side quest. Because I, I kind of said Stumpy, who is a NPC enemy in the Everbloom Forest, for those that don't know. I said that Stumpy is going to have a special side quest because everybody was obsessed with the idea because everybody very much latched on to the Stumpy character. But we haven't seen him for a while. We haven't been talking about Stumpy lately, but he'll definitely be back when, when the time comes. Um, and yeah, I create animated battlers for anyone to use for free. They're not in the style of Default RPG Maker because that keeps changing. They're in, they're in a four frame, 12 pose twitch She, oh cool. That's awesome now that you've got your own art style as well, for sure. But I'm excited to look. Okay. So let's carry on watching this video. We'll rewind it a bit so we can actually get an understanding of how the summoning mechanic works. Because this looks like the only plugin we, that's really that we've got here. Um, and if we want to be safe, this is probably the plugin to go for. Because if any of them are going to be compatible, it's going to be this one. Um, so you working on your battle system is a great motivation for me to watch while I work. That's great. That's what I want to be for you all. I want to help inspire and get everybody in the mood to get creative. But of course, many of, that's one of many reasons why you, I like you guys hanging out. And... Uh, or maybe the item is more wolf related, like a rabbit you can eat or sell for a coin or possibly a wolf skin or teeth. That's a good idea too, Van. Like, um, have the item be linked to, to something that's in the area or the wolf itself. Um, but yeah, that, I think that sounds cool. A mix of Van and National's idea there. So I, I'm sure something like that could be done. I don't see why not. I'll have to look and see, but I'm glad you mentioned it. So let's carry on watching this video then. I've uh, put it back a little bit. So it looks like you've got it. Hang on, let's just look at those code tags because I want to... So it looks like it's all done from an actor ID. So the summons actually are actors. think yeah summon Bob so if that's the case we have to make the wolf an, an actual actor I'm curious how Bob works now so what's he doing is he actually attacking himself or is he doing auto auto attacks because Eva is fine for me like I'm I'm, I'm, I'll take what we've got. I'm, I'm okay with an auto attack summon or a one that we control. It, it all depends what this plugin allows us to do, really. We'll see. Because oh, I need to grasp what's going on in this video. Um, that you are. Yay! I definitely get motivated when I hang out in the channel. Ah, oh, yay! That's good, Cornelius. Because Bob hasn't been added to this section, so I'm assuming he's attacking himself. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's cool though. I just want to understand it properly. And our battle UI looks totally different to this now because I've like done a UI overhaul of it. <laughs> I use the Mog Hunter hood for our battle system, which I've kind of really, I, I, I've made it look different, which is cool because it gives your game a bit of a unique look. I 
Okay, so you can put in turns and then it disappears after those. Okay, it looks like it's all done like automatically then. But that's cool. Was Final Fantasy X like that? Because I, from what I remember in X, you could actually pick the attacks in that. But um, it's kind of similar how the summon's actually there with you, I guess. But yeah, we're definitely gonna have to try this out and see how it how it looks when we've got a wolf in battle with us. I'm kind of getting it from the video, but there's I've got questions, things I'm wondering about. So Ten, you control the summon, the rest of the party eats off and the summon stays until... Yeah, that's... I remember that now. Yuna summoned them and then it was just the summon on the screen with the enemy. Um, but in this, it looks like the party's still there attacking and doing their thing. And you, you're still allowed to control the party while the summon's fighting with you automatically. Which I think is pretty not neat. I like... I kind of like that. Um, I can't think of the top of my head any games that do summons like that. Because um, in the, all the other Final Fantasies, the summons were just usually like a, a fancy spell in a way. They, you summon them and then they were gone. Um, they weren't actually in the battle or anything. Yeah, so you can determine the number of turns. Let me zoom in for you all. Um, set minus one to make the summon last until the end of battle or death. Oh, would that be too OP though? I mean, we'd have to do lots of testing to get the balancing just right. But I think the one thing I want to make sure of with this summon is it doesn't make Hunter too OP. Um... I want it to definitely make Hunter awesome, no doubt about that, but I don't want it to make Hunter better than Warrior. So, um, and what we got to remember as well is Dawning Wolf, it'll be an upgradable skill anyway, because we're going to be doing upgradable skills in our game because we're using flat damage rather than percentages, so it gives us an excuse to have upgradable skills. Um, so it'll probably, it's first form probably won't be the strongest, but it obviously throughout the game as you upgrade them, yes. Uh, maybe a certain number of rounds then the whole combat. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking too, Van, because it, it would be crazy OP, especially if you're against a boss, you know. Imagine if you summon the wolf join the fruit boss and it was there the whole battle they would make it so easy you'd rip through the fruits so i think um for sure having it last a certain amount of turns at this stage is probably the smartest thing to do um who knows maybe when the summon's been upgraded to a super high level near end game it can last longer than perhaps but it's all will or we don't know yet but one thing about when implementing skills is that it's very cha potentially very changeable because um as soon as like there's a playable build and we're testing all this thing things will probably numbers and turns and amounts could change a lot to to balance things better we can always boost the warrior and enemies to match Hunter, have Hunter be our baseline of power. That's a good idea too, because if it turns out that Hunter ends up being super OP from this summon, 
we can always just uh, improve Warrior a little bit, but we'll say. Well, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, some people might not even bother unlocking the Wolf Summon, but you'd be missing out if you didn't. But I think that's the thing. We've got to make sure it's not too OP. Because if it's too OP, people, everybody will just go for the wolf straight away. But the wolf, I was thinking, should cost more CP. I know that National, you were talking about CP in the Discord. And the idea of tiered CP amounts for every set, like every stage of the tree. Which I think is a great idea, by the way. But the, the actual summons, I think, make sense for them to cost more if they are more valuable and specialist skills. But um, I guess it depends. Because if we make him weak, then we can make it cost the same as the others. But if it, I think naturally it's going to be a bit more valuable than, say, the other two free hunter skills that we're learning. So maybe it should cost more CP. But we can still have the tiered even if that costs more like so we're going for that same template for everybody's skill tree but it doesn't it's no biggie if certain classes have slightly different skill trees just a touch when it comes to cp amounts because their skills super special or there's something slightly different about the positioning or what arrows go to which skill um, if it, if if necessary, then that will have to happen. But most of the time, I'd say ninety percent of the time, the skill everybody's skill tree will have that same template to make our lives easier. Um, you could always have additional rounds added as the hunter skills up. Yeah, exactly. Like with the upgrades, so level two of Dawning Wolf might have an extra turn than level one did, perhaps, or something like that. Oh no, we have the bots in again. Well, I say again, but we don't usually get them, so. But I've seen those kind of bots before. <laughs> These bots are OP. Or maybe the hunter loses a turn to make the summon happen rather than cost more. Yeah. Well, we'll say, because, I mean... Would it be do? I mean, would it break the skill tree if Dawning Wolf did cost more CP? That's the thing. Like, if we can, if we can still make it more expensive without it ruining all our skill tree and CP mechanics that we've thought up, then it won't hurt. But um, we'll say we can't. We can't really say until we've implemented this summon and know what, how good it is or how OP or how old how, how P it is and I'm gonna just I mean some things like losing the turn if it, I'm not the best coder in the world so I can't always do every single fancy thing but I'll do what I can if I if what I can to make this call in a in a in a great way hopefully so let's uh so I think we should download this plugin and have an experiment and see how we at what we can do so download I might have to read the instructions again though because I haven't really thoroughly read them much hmm But I'm I'm very glad I, I'm this uh, summon plugin's a decent one. It seems like the main one. Uh, if 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 there's any others, there's pro I'm not sure. But this actually seems to do the ideal job that I visioned. So yay! Okay, so we need to open RPG Maker now. Okay, so let's get our plugin in. Don't know why RPG Maker's doing that. 
Oh, it's, it, yeah, it's because I moved the pop up, I think, last stream, that's why. There we go. Okay, so. Summon call, there we go. And I usually just, I put it with uh, the same guy's plugins. So there, there we go. Um, right. So let, let's find a wolf asset first of all. One that actually goes with our style. And I think, I think Storm Eagle might have sent me some back in the day actually. Because he was the one that came up with the idea of Dawning Wolf and he sent me the uh, the assets. So give me one sec guys, I'm going to see if... Um... I'm going to see if I can find those assets. Oh, they might actually be in the Discord in the um, skill discussion section, maybe. Yes, I think they're here. Okay, so let's get the Discord up. So we got some of them posted here. And he did have some like skill ideas for them, but I based on what the plugin does the fact that it's automatic skills you might not have that freedom to actually think of actual skills we'll have to see what it allows us to do um but we got a wolf here and may, maybe this is the best wolf it i mean it looks pretty good to me i'm gonna give a, a google search to see what walls we've got just so our options are open but this one this one seems decent and it's cute it's a cute one and it's got different animations i think this asset is done by the main person that does the animal sprites so um one sec Yeah, I've googled Wolf Battler and there's a few, but the one that, that we've got is definitely the one that fits best with our style. So we'll stick, we'll stick to that one. So I'm going to get him saved. We might have to double his size though, so he don't look too tiny on our battle system, because... Uh, we uh, have times to the battler assets uh right so we'll call this battler summon hunter Dawning Wolf, that's what we'll call it. So here's how he looks if you want to see again, guys. Okay, so we'll look in the plugin rules again in a bit, but we'll get, um, get him up first. Okay, so it's all done in actors, I think, then, and yeah. We have a gap here, for that's our custom hero, that gap is. And all these, well, three and four will be the future playable characters we have. Um, so let's think how we're going to do this, because I don't want to get the summons all jumbled in with our playable characters, in all honesty. Um, what's the max we can have? Okay, so I'm thinking of working from the bottom. So, 
for the summons anyway, so they don't get mixed in with our playable characters. Um, call them summons. So, Dawning Wolf. So he should be here for us. Yeah, we need to double his size though, because it's a tiny wolf at the mouth. Um, so let's get him up in Photoshop. There we go. So at some point we can decide what colour it should be, maybe. Um, I mean, we can decide that today if we want to. Because this is it's just grey by default, but it'd be nice to consider colour options. Something that fits in with Hunter aesthetics, maybe. Um, I mean, this colour might be fine, this might be the one that we pick, but it'd be nice to have it at, just consider some options when it comes to colours. Um, grey wolves are badass, to be fair. Okay, back to RPG Maker. Oops, I was trying to hit you with the overlay. Right, so I think it should be bigger now. I don't know if it'll refresh. Oh, yeah, it's bigger now. Okay, so... Let's read the instructions. So we need to know where to begin with this. Okay, so what's this? Max summons. The maximum amount of summons allows you. Bow, whoa. It allows you to have more than one. Well, that's a good thing because if we've got the hunter and the dragon timer and the summoner in the same battle, we're gonna wanna <laughs> we're gonna make wanna make sure that they can at least summon. So that's cool. That is pretty fun if you can have. Because for for um would be the max I think anyway because you're only allowed to play as four people in a battle anyway so so if true then once a skill has summoned actors it will not be able to do so again until they're gone that makes sense um let me get the get the pop up so you guys can actually see the plugin that I'm reading so Summon can't be performed if multiple summons will appear in the same spot. Okay. We can change the defaults anyway, so it's no biggie what's in there. There's another one. I had to look, but all the others look like they didn't fit in with the art style as much. But we'll have a peep anyway. You might have found one.
So this person's got a few assets, so I'm going to find where I'm looking here. Um, Because I have a picture that's not coming up. I don't know what that is. Um, it's down a little bit. Oh, right. Oh, okay. I think I prefer the one we've got, personally. I think this is a subjective thing, but I still think this that one just looks more like fitting with the art we've got this one looks a bit more i don't know if this one's pixel art but we're not like it's not like we're using all pixel art the battler sprites aren't um but i want to try and stick as much as possible well i mean the battler sp enemy sprites sorry but the actors battle sprites are so So I think this won't be too hard to set up. Uh, so, summon night has. I think we just have this thing here. I think we just have to copy and paste that and fill in the correct information. These are nice. Let's have a look. Oh, hidden one. I think they were using a few of their assets. Yeah, there's different coloured ones there. I like, I do like these ones because this wolf actually looks a bit more fearsome than this one. I mean, this one, don't get me wrong, let's get him up again. The first one that we've got. Um... He, he's, I think he's very cute. He just looks like a cute little puppy, you know. <laughs> he's a cute, sweet pup. But the one that you've sent me on that second link van, well, there's a few of them. They li li do look very more fearsome and like somebody that would be in battle. I particularly like this animation here. Where is it? This middle one here. We got a howling one too. We don't have a howling one in this one. Yeah, I think I'm sold on the hidden one assets. Just because these ones are actually pixel art and actually fit more with the style as well than the first one um, in the first link. Um, I guess it's just deciding what colour one we have because they're all... If we can have a fox, we might because we might have a fox, it's probably better we don't go for the orange one. We could go for the black one or the the more white one i guess if we want to put a papal for this we could we could just use a random one for now um oh we've got a gray one we'll use a gray one for now but it might not be definite if if uh, if we do a poll at some point we can decide for good which color we're gonna have so um let's save that Thanks for finding those. I I think those ones look really good. There's just a bit more um just looks a bit more of a badass wolf and a few more animations that we don't have in the other one. So we will need to double the size again. Or you could have a hunter that have option to pick at the beginning of the game what wolf comes to him. Or when you learn the skill you get the option maybe. Um, that, that could be a possibility. If, it, if, if it's a thing, which I don't 
see why it wouldn't be if I was able to create a custom here in the first place. I'm sure we can have different walls. Um, wow, that makes that makes the summoning dawning wolf skill even more uh, special if if you can have a custom wolf. It's like, so what colour wolf do you all want? But it'd be a nice little touch if you could have a, have a little choice there. Here we go then. Look at this, look at this, uh, this bad boy. So at the moment we're going to just use the grey. Just for now, um, either we'll put up a poll where we decide the colour or we'll make it an option in the game where you as the player get to pick the colour, which I think would be pretty cool. We'll say uh, if the skill tree allows us to fluidly implement that option if we have a choice. Um, feel like we need to make warrior more powerful in attacks to make up for this badass summon because otherwise everybody's going to be picking hunter without question so uh okay so let is he in is he updated in the actors menu now so i want to i want to ask chat i want to say would you pick warrior or hunter chat because i'm i'm intrigued Okay. He's our little pet. Okay, so back to the instructions of the plugin. We're gonna copy those note tags. So, in order to make a skill become a summon skill, use the following note tag. Okay. So it seems like it works by levels, the strength of it, which we don't, we, we're not going to have a level mechanic in Raindrop Chronicles with our characters, but it seems like the level would be sort of hidden anyway, done behind the scenes with the summon, so it's not a big deal, I don't think. Um, oh, we, we don't want to put it there. We're, we want to put it here. in the notes of the actual skill. So we can have to think of a number of turns that are appropriate at the moment. We'll say, should we say two or one? <laughs> I feel like it needs to be weak at first. One turn at first. Um, and what was the actor ID? It's very tempting to say three turns, but it, it would make him a bit OP at this point in the game, perhaps. So it's number 999. Because um, we're putting the, the summon actors at the bottom of the database. Because uh, we don't, I don't want to merge them in with our playable characters, so... Well, I'm still planning on playing a hunter, but my decision hasn't changed since you started coming here. Oh, so it wasn't the adorable wolf and the uh, summon idea that got you into the hunter. You just like hunter anyway. That's good. That has been the question of the week. Two weeks running. Hunter or warrior? Truthfully, I'd pick both. Do a two run throughs for the game. They both seem like they'd make the game different enough. Yeah, that's wonderful, National, to hear. And hi, Big. How are you doing? Any advice for a guy who wants to learn to make games? I'd say go for it, but small steps. If you are very new to get the game making world, um, Small steps is a good way to go so you don't get too overwhelmed. This was a very baby project from the beginning that I didn't take too seriously, but it slowly started to become more serious for me as time went on. Um, but Van, Van, Van could relate to you, Juicy, because he, um, they want to make a game too. 
So, and I think he says that you're daunted by the thought, aren't you? But you still really want to make one. But welcome to the stream. It's good to have you here, Juicy. Um, and, um, but yes, National said that they would do two, two, uh, two playthroughs, which is really great to hear because I would love Raindrop Chronicles to be that kind of game that people play more than once. Um, I want to make the most of things like multiple outcomes to quests. Um, and obviously we've got the moral system, so that every custom hero in every game will be different based on what you do, decisions you make in the game. Also, we have the romance mechanic, and although that won't really come into it until mid-game, probably, it'll still exist from the start. And the interactions you make with characters like Carol and any other romanceable characters will matter. And so that sort of thing might make people want to play more than once too, so they can romance somebody different next time as well. Um, I bought the Unity 2D and 3D game classes on Udemy, haven't started them. Oh, well, that's that's cool. That's a good start. Best of luck with those. You can do it, I believe in you. What sort of game are you thinking of making? Um, we'll say level one. So level one, one turn. So the way we've got him set up at the moment, this summon wolf, is the bare basics. So we'll see how he is. Um, we've not filled anything in here. We might, I don't know if we need to. I have to look into that. Um, and is there anything else we need to do before we do a test play? So we've got the skill set up. We've got to just land in the skill tree and then we should be able to test it in the battle. Should we test then? I think we should test. I'm excited. We're going to test the wall. It might epically fail, by the way, because um, this is the first time we're testing it and we might have forgot to do something, but we'll see. It might turn out better than we think. So, have we got... Uh, I think we've got the music on in the background. Let me just turn all the sound off, guys, because uh, I tend to... Uh, uh, while I'm streaming the muted test plays when we're focusing on the visual and mechanical stuff so we don't get distracted and also so we don't clash with our playlist music in the background um, but at certain times we'll probably do sat with the sound on when we start adding sound effects because I'm thinking of Friday stream being a sound effect stream we'll find some good sounds to accompany our 12 skills I think that'll be a cool thing to do. So, um, but for now, we'll have to have it on mute. Uh, we haven't. Right, here's one of our hunters, and I want the Jesus hunter back that we had. Why well, have we got this blonde one? What's going on? <laughs> Thank you, Mina Buddy. We're thinking of making a basic 2D RPG to start. Oh, that's cool. Do you design all your art and music or do you outsource it? Um, I tend to, the best way to describe what I do is I put together what I can. Um, a, mo a lot of it, like a big percentage of it, is from other people, but the odd original asset might be thrown in as well if there's ever. If there's ever a time where I feel like we need to create some unique and original that would fit the game for what we're trying to do. So it tends to be a mix of things, but um, a big percentage of it is from others because the game development process itself is extremely time consuming. So you have to, you have to kind of um, not put too much on your shoulders. You have to because otherwise burnout you wouldn't you won't really finish the project if you're going to be too ambitious about it you have to be realistic about what you can do figure out what you're good at and what you want to focus on and um and just do it <laughs> so uh, that's cool yay but yeah good luck with that 2d rpg is fun and unit is a good one i mean um 
if I had more coding knowledge, I might have gone for that myself. But RPG Maker suits me great because it's very, I'm very nostalgic with RPG Maker. I grew up on it, and it's uh, it's reasonably easy to use. And there's a a lot of support there with this particular engine. So um, yeah, it's working out well so far. We need a redhead, a redhead hunter for a while. Yeah, <laughs> we have. We did. Have, did we ever use a redheaded hunter at some point? We probably did. But we're on this blonde. Cannot read pr property party a bit. Okay. I have. I never got that error when I did test plays yesterday. So I'm assuming that that error is from the summon, and we might have to start a new game. Because sometimes when you add new plugins to the engine, um, and you and you just do a game, a load game, it 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 breaks and you have to start again. So we'll start again, guys, and we'll make Jesus this time. Joseph, thank you so much for that raid. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Really sorry, can't stay super night late my time zone. See you later. Oh, that's totally understandable. You rest up, but thanks for bringing your peeps, Ivan. Hi, Epic. How are you doing? Let's give a shout out before you go. Hi, Code Moira. How are you doing? It's good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Final Fantasy VI. How did that go, guys? Did you enjoy the stream? I know that Joseph's uh, going to bed now, but did the rest of you enjoy it? Gotta love Final Fantasy. We have some fight. We should have found some Final Fantasy VI background music on in the background at some points because we have this Final Fantasy YouTube playlist that we play. Um, we're doing a test play for the game at the moment, but we're on mute, so the music that you can hear is Final Fantasy music. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I abandoned mine many years ago because I wanted to make everything custom graphics wise. So that's why I just focused myself on making stuff for others. Yeah. And I, you got to be realistic, haven't you? And I, I've said, like I, I always say how Raindrop Chronicles is going to be an ongoing years long project. It's an episodic, episodic an epic fantasy. So it's not going to be over quickly. It's going to... Uh, there's a good chance we could we could be making this for the the big, a big portion of this decade, you know. And I'm I'm totally happy to do that because I have a lot of fun doing this. If I was an old lady in my bedroom and all I'd done with my life was make RPGs, I certainly wouldn't complain. So so yes, but because it's such a long ongoing project i have to be realistic with myself and i i don't think any human being would be able to go on for many many years doing everything you know you kind of have to take it easy on yourself sometimes and some of the workload has to be put you know from others rather than yourself otherwise you, you you go crazy <laughs> um Another RPG Maker Dev? Yeah, I'm fine doing Game Dev as well. Awesome. Well, it's good to meet you, Epic. We make we make um, a game together in this stream. I, I build the game and the community helped me come up with tons of awesome ideas. Um, and we shape the whole thing together with our cool ideas. So uh, feel free to ask any questions if you've got any. And um, I'm also intrigued to hear about your game dev project as well we have a creative work channel in our discord folks so if you want to give us a little rundown of your project feel free to pop it in there um i'm working on some things for my character do you care to answer the question i sent you on discord when you get a chance yeah sure uh radio i'll, I'll answer it as soon as i get a, a spare moment and I'm the same, I work mine all the time, just need to finish one of these days. Yeah, finishing can be a challenge as well, That which is why I was like, yeah, this is going to be episodic, because it takes the pressure off, you know, and you think, yeah, at least we'll finish, we'll get some content done reasonably soon, rather than in a decade, <laughs> we'll get it done in a year or two, or a year and a half, rather than a decade, by having episodic releases, so, uh, 
official. Wow, that's interesting. Yay! And we do have a website, by the way. It is in need of a, a big update, though. The content on the website is going to be altering slightly. Because um, we also have a law bible now. And a lot of the law-related stuff that's currently on the website is going to be moved on to the law bible. And the website is going to have other stuff like an FAQ page, a credits page... Um, and all the fancy stuff that shows off what the game is about more rather than the actual written law. The, the law will be exclusively on World Anvil. Um, okay, so... Let's hope that that bug is gone. We're, gonna, we're just making our character again at the moment, guys, because uh, we, had a, we had a little type error. And I believe it's one of the plugins that did that, one of the new ones that we put in. So we're having to start again, which is fine at the moment because we're on early game. But I can imagine the pain in the ass it would be when we're like mid game and this happens. But usually by then we'll have all the plugins we want anyway. <laughs> so hopefully uh, we won't get random breaking, game breaking things happen. Um... I'm making Jesus again, guys. <laughs> LOL. Character creation. Yes, this is a custom. I'm pretty proud of this. It was the first thing I did, and I actually did it myself, too. Um... It's honestly, it, it's all just conditional branches and variables that I did with this, which is a bit insane because it's time consuming doing it that way, but that it worked and it's uh, fabulous. So, <laughs> you will get a custom hunter and warrior of all warrior of your liking. So, yes, I'm ready. There we go. Thanks, Rose. How you doing, Nikki? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Okay, we're going to rush through the dialogue here because we want to test the battle system. Fingers crossed we don't get that bug. Carol the barrel. Carol the barrel. And we're walking everywhere at the moment, by the way, because Lakefall currently isn't set up as a parallax map, and it will be. So, um, once we've done all the skill and battle side of things this month, I'll be moving on to making Lakefall into a parallax map and just doing a few little visual adjustments to, to the map, because there's a few weird bits that don't look too amazing on it. So I'm looking forward to improving it a touch. Um, right, so let's save. So right now we've got these temporary ch chests here. Um, these test chests are just here for testing purposes right now. We have one to get Rose in the party and we have one that gives us a load of CP so we can learn our skills. Um, so let's learn Dawning Wolf. Right, so Dawning Wolf is a hunt and su hunter summon we've got and we, we're testing that today to see how it works. So we installed a new summon plugin. Currently develop a game which is a sequel from this. Oh cool. Well thanks for telling us. I have a peep at that one. A peep at that one after stream. I'll save the link. One sec guys. Let me get my notepad file up. Also I want to see the question that Ray do asked in the discord as well. So one sec. Um, am I okay to answer this on stream, by the way? Just want to check, because when it's in a DM, maybe you want that to be between us, Ray, do. But if you want me to answer on stream, that's uh, 
That's cool. And also those swords look great as well. That's awesome. And thanks for giving us your updated sprite. Well, what we'll do is when uh, the deadline closes on Friday, we'll put that sprite in the stream avatars for you. So you can have your character walking across the screen. Um, thank you for the follow, Epic. I appreciate that. Super appreciate it. Um... I can hear Final Fantasy be gem indeed. We I, I tend to have it in the background for every stream because it doesn't Twitch don't like destroy me for copyright with that music. So it's a it's a nice safe little playlist to have um, in the background on stream. Following fellow devs, thank you. Saving the link too to look at later. Yay. Okay, so back to test play. Um, okay, guys, so let's go into battle. And I'm not expecting this to work. I'm expecting something to go wrong with the summon because it's our first time testing, but we'll see. And also what you're about to see is a slightly updated UI battle system from the first time. I was messing about with Mog Hunter's UI plugin and changed things up a bit. Okay. Oh, what's happened here? <laughs> Something weird's happened. So what's happened is the the summon plugin because it works by adding an actor it's also added an extra actor ui box to the hood which we don't want so somehow i'm gonna have to remove that so we don't see that box but we do have the wolf in battle with us so that has sort of worked i don't know what he's gonna do We'll defend and just watch and observe. Okay, so he disappeared after one turn, which is how I had him set up. He didn't actually do anything, did he? He just got summoned and that was it. Right, so we'll have a mess about to get him working, but we need to fix that. That needs to be fixed with the hood because we don't want that happening. For some reason... It went at that side this time. And what I'm assuming that is, is just a slight incompatibility with Mog Hunter and the plugin. Um, and it's because it works with adding an actor, so I'm not really shocked that that's happened. But there'll probably be a fix for it. Uh, right, so just cross that off for now. I did save the game, so I want to figure out... I want to get the summon working mechanically most of all. I'm not going to fuss too much about the hood glitch just yet. We'll just get the summon working. Um, yeah, you can answer on stream. Okay, awesome. I'll have, a, I'll have a read again of what you said. And tall dude, thank you for the follow. Okay, so you've said if my character had a passive skill that prevented him from dying and remaining at 1 HP, would he die and come back or would he stay at critical? Um... What, hang on, I'll just clarify that question for me a sec, because my thought is that is if he had one HP, he'd be fine. And is, is, but if an enemy hit him, then he'd die. Um, or well, does, well, does it work as an... Yeah, I'm trying to think how it works, because I guess that sort of skill could work in multiple ways, depending on how we want to handle it. But we can always have a chat about how we, how you'd want that one to work, for sure. Um, okay, so... Small bug, yeah. They always happen. You always get the bugs. <laughs> they always happen. He needs a few more rounds so he can help. He dropped off the bone he was chewing on the lap yeah okay so let's give him an extra turn maybe one turn is just not enough <laughs> that might be the issue here so if we give him two turns instead 
maybe he'll actually do something and if it still doesn't work after that we'll have a look in the plugin instructions to figure out what's uh, going on um, but as for the I'm gonna google to say monk hunter hood and summon core I'm gonna see if anyone else has had this problem Um, would the damage just put him in critical um, one p? Yeah, I'd say he'd be at the one HP even if he would. If he would, if he would have died normally, if he didn't have had, the, if he didn't have the skill, then uh, yeah, one HP. So if I'm getting, if I'm not worded myself, well, sometimes I need to have a proper think myself about how the skill can work because to be honest we'll probably be able to get your vision right do that you'd like it's um might take a bit of messing around but it can be pretty flexible with the skills but i think as long as you you don't mind and you know we're flexible with how we have it that's the main thing but i'm sure we i think the main thing is it's useful we want it to be a useful skill we don't want it to be pointless so i think making sure that he stays alive and you know is good as long as he as long as he's not too op of course and doesn't uh but at the same time he should at least get that one round where he d doesn't die from the enemy hit my eBay. Hopefully I'm getting the skill. But if not, I'll uh, read it properly after stream. Um, leaves you bones is the item. Bones could be a good <laughs> item to have from the wolf. Um, I'm 100% flexible. Yay! Because sometimes, like, I'm not the most amazing when it comes to implementing skills. Um... The main thing is we get something that is balanced and uh, he's not in and he's a very and he's a useful skill. I'm 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 the sort of person that doesn't like useless skills. So um, as long as we make it useful and and super handy without being OP, I think that's the good balance. Passive is actually already active, even not in battle yeah passive skills are great because uh um they're always there forever on your characters and i said the other stream that i want to make m the mo the most of those because we want our skill trees to be quite full don't we but we want to avoid skill bloat and skill bloat would be having too many active skills to use in battle but passive skills are great because they solve that problem. You can still have your characters learning lots of skills, but you don't have to remember them all because they're, they're there forever on your character. Um, okay, so... One sec, guys. I'm just doing a bit of troubleshooting research. But I don't want to... I don't want to spend too long getting caught up in this little bug. I'd rather make sure our summon works first um but there are there are a few people that have asked So I'm sure there'll be a way to solve it. But when we do the battle testing, guys, you'll just have to ignore the wolf little box that appears for now. Let's do another test anyway. Would the skill activate an animation even though it's passive when the effect is triggered? Yes. Um, I think one thing I want to do um is make sure that passive skills not all the passive skills 
because some don't you wouldn't need animations for some of them if they're just a stat boost or something but for something like um what was it called squish it for warrior which is um a skill a passive skill that lowers plant defense because we got a lot of plant enemies in our current dungeon so um if you've got that passive skill any plant enemy you come across and hit will from that point have a lowered defense and we said it'd be really cool to have some kind of indicator even though it's a passive skill to show that it's worked i think that that it doesn't even need to be a visual indicator it could be a sound effect um so having either option would be fine but something either a visual indicator or a sound effect to show us that oh it's worked is I think that's very rewarding to do. So for sure, um, Radio, for future passive skills as well, um, having that little is, is something I want to try and do. I want to make sure of that. Um, okay. I want to show you guys Warcry and um, Adrenaline as well, how I've got those to work, because I've already done those animations. got to learn the summon again because I forgot to save it. I'll save it now again but I'll save it on another slot. I've got all these testing slots here at the moment. It's a big big mess. But I'm glad we got Jesus back now as our hero instead of that blonde one. Nothing against him. It's fine. <laughs> Hi Luna it's good to see you again. I hope you're having a good day. Hope you're doing well. How have you been? Okay, so more testing. So ignore that silly box. We don't want it there. Let's just pay attention to the wolf for now and make sure he's working. Um, I'm just going to make everybody defend. He's disappeared again. Silly naughty boy. He didn't do anything. <laughs> he's not OP at all right now because he's just standing there. So let's fix him. Okay, so here it is. Oh, no, not that one. This one. I have a, to be honest, I have a feeling why he's not working. It's because we haven't put anything in his actors section, probably. Um, it's all empty. The plugin didn't really state that we needed... Yeah, we haven't even given him a class. Maybe we need to give him a class. The plugin hasn't said, so I'm going to read it again. But I'm assuming that that's what we have to do, because otherwise he's just not gonna. He's not gonna do anything otherwise. Yeah, this doesn't say anything about that, but I am gonna have a look on the thread. Someone here um, is given some alternative um, summon plugins, which work the exact same, by the way. But apparently they might be better and not have the bugs. But I'll I could always try them as well. I'm going to just look out of curiosity, but as long as I did the same thing, then that's good. Yeah, it's been a while. I haven't been watching streams as much recently. Just had to do a test stream this morning because I was having 
issues with Twitch last night. Oh no, Twitch has broken again. It's been breaking a bit lately, hasn't it? I remember it was the other night as well. A couple of nights ago. So it's good to it's good to hear from you. I hope that things are good. But what was the test stream? Have you been streaming, Luna? The stream was working fine, but there was no picture, just the sound. That's weird. I hope you can I hope you managed to get it fixed. Hmm. Um. So this person said similar to the Aeons in Final Fantasy X, this one. So I'm going to keep this one in the back of my head. I'm not going to give up on the one we've got just yet, though. Cross these off. Because I still haven't got to grips with how to make the wolf actually do damage. Because it, it doesn't really, from what I'm reading, it doesn't state how to do that. And I'm a noob, so. <laughs> um. Sammy Work, thank you so much for that host. How are you doing? I appreciate that. How How was the stream? How did it go? That one person had an avatar of the little dragon from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Oh, did they? Yeah, the people on the RPG make forms usually have good taste in games, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> and, yeah, seems kind of dead now, yeah. I mean, um, it, it, it's good that there's other plugins in case, just in case we find that this one isn't to our isn't working or isn't compatible that great, because we had a little bug, I mean, we had the hood get ruined when we did a test play just with this so maybe these ones won't do that um maybe that one won't might have the hood error so it's worth trying it just to say um but before before i decide to switch for good i want to at least figure out how to get this working because i want to give it a go at least and see how the wolf does do damage but it doesn't say <laughs> Because um, right now our wolf is literally just standing there in battle and then he disappears after a turn. He doesn't do anything. And I, I thought it would be in the instructions um, how to do that, but it's not. It's prob probably because it's really obvious, <laughs> that's why. Probably because it's something we should know how to do anyway. And I'm assuming I've got to just assign some skills to the, uh, the wolf's class and treat him just like a normal actor. Maybe that's what I've got to do. But I wanted some I wanted some solid evidence for that before I waste my time doing it. No problem, have a nice stream. Let's give semi work a shout out. How was the stream? I hope it went well. And um it went smoothly, so hopefully it'll stay that way tonight. Yeah, I hope so too, Luna. And Chub Cheeks, how you doing? And hi, Mia, as well. Yo, be lurking. Thank you for the lurk, Mia. I hope you're having a good day so far. And you, Chub. It's not the solution we were looking for, but certainly keeps the hunter from being overly powerful. Rule for Pills, Wags Tower, happily. Rolls over, Plavy. Yeah, National, it's just, we're just going to have it there for cuteness now. It's not going to do any damage. It'll just be there for cuteness. But obviously not. We, we have to make it do something. But yeah. Um, how, what, would you not have to set up the wolf, um, with with within the database yeah i'm assuming that I, that's what i must have to do because right now we've not got um anything 
set up for the wolf. Um, we haven't assigned a class to the wolf and we haven't filled in any traits or skills and I'm assuming it needs some but if we're gonna do that and then find out it didn't work then it'd be a waste of time so I just wanted to read the instructions to make sure that was what I had to do but um, it doesn't say so we're gonna do it anyway we're gonna do it anyway guys um, which means let's just make the database bigger for classes and start from the bottom with the summons and we'll have dawning wolf here again because i am a fuss pot i don't like to i wouldn't want to mix in our summons with our playable characters so i like i like to start from the bottom just to keep things organized um okay so let's give the wolf that class We'll actually give it something and see if it does, if it actually does damage. But we still, I mean, we still might change the plugin to the other person's plugin. But even if we do, it's not a big deal, you know. I just want the plugin that does the job best. Um, well, I need to get, get to playing Animal Crossing, so I may be like, ooh, Animal Crossing. I hope you're having fun. What villagers have you got? Curious. My sequel might be hard because there's no MP and the skills will equip type and has limited use like in Pokemon. Yeah, like we've we've got MP in our game, but I think I'm gonna change it to SP skill points instead of magic points because right now we we have melee characters in the game and one ranged and none of them are magical users so it kind of makes magic points redundant um, but i still want to make i want to make use of magic points of those characters too so it feels like it's probably more worthwhile to just call it skill points <laughs> and then make it work the exact same way as mp would make the skills use up a certain amount um of SP um, when you use them um, but yeah it might be it might be hard but I think it's worth it because it'll make your game a bit unique there's also TP technique points like in fantasy star yeah um, that would that's a thing in this as well in RPG maker but I've currently got them disabled in our game because I didn't want to put too many mechanics on us at once um if when it comes to the stage like where we're doing testing the first playable build and people feel there's something missing then i might add that tp system and treat it like a limit break but i'm not gonna say yes to that just yet because i think the system we've got is quite is quite large anyway and there's a lot going on a lot of skills and a lot of stuff so we might that might not be necessary for our battle system we'll just say we'll kind of play it by ear and see how things go but the main thing is i want ev i want it all mechanically decided and everything visually looking cool as well before episode one's released because the last thing i want to do is have episode two be completely different you know and work differently to episode one so whatever we have for episode one the mechanics we got there will be what we stick with throughout for consistency um but between now and episode one's release we're allowed we're allowed to experiment and see what works best um so i feel like now is the hardest part of the development because it's all about making the decisions about how things are going to be working mechanically um just meant it's another word for mp oh right yeah that's interesting because in rpg maker there's both mp and tp funnily enough my tp becomes limit that's a very good idea i was if i was to use tp i would do it the same treat it like a limit break um okay so where what should we add to this wolf um so for rose for example 
We don't have anything in the class menu. I mean, in the act menu, but. I'm thinking now we've assigned a class to this wolf, it might work because we've actually got heat rates and stuff in there now and that might be what was necessary. Obviously we don't want to add the skill tight warrior though, all that. Um, we might have to give a skill to the wolf for it to work perhaps. For now I'm going to just give him a random enemy skill just to say if it works. <laughs> Hygiene is important. Trust Chubb to, to be witty. I got you. I got you. I saw your message, Chubb, about Yennefer and um, Geralt, and I agree. They're they're the best ship. Uh, so I'm gonna give him. Can we just give him an attack? Yeah, let's see if attack works for him now. And if it works, I'm going to be so happy. And then we'll know. I mean, the plugin looks a little bit on the buggy side. I'm not going to lie. Um, I am going to download the other one and compare the two. And see which one's the best for us. But we'll test this first. I want to make sure that I've at least given this one a shot first. And tested how the wolf works in this plugin first. Because those bugs could be fixable. So we'll say. Um, I didn't vote for them. Who, who did you vote for then Chubb? This is my menu. Be like no MP. Just HP and limit. Oh, let's have a look. And I think that's a great idea, Epic. I mean, I think limiting things and and simplifying systems is smart, to be honest. I think sometimes having too much going on can be a bit overwhelming. Um, so, yeah. Also, that looks cool. I like the wolf characters. <laughs> we have a we have a wolf race in our game too, so we've got a, We got a few that have been submitted as characters so far, but looking cool. I mean, when we do our test plays, I'm squeezing our screen in this tiny space for you guys. It it it's it gives so much more justice on my on the full monitor. I have to say, <laughs> so. Uh, but I, as long as you can see what's happening is the main thing when doing uh, test plays. Guybrush and Elaine are best couple, and that's fact. To be honest, Chub, I. I, I sort of agree. I really am a monk. I'm a monkey hurling fan. I grew up on that franchise, so I'd be a hypocrite if I. Uh, well, would I be a hypocrite? I'd be. I'd be weird for not liking them. You're welcome, Cloud. I'm. I'm still thinking. Should I call you Cloud or Epic? Because both names are cool. Okay, so ignore the silly box. I can't help but get distracted by it still myself. But let's just look at the wolf and make sure he's doing an attack this time. Hey, no vicious chomping on our adorable sub. Okay, he disappeared. That is very strange. It didn't work again. And I thought assigning a skill, an attack skill to him would have actually have worked that time. But maybe it's the book. Maybe it's the plugin. Maybe there's incompatibility here because people have been saying there is on the forum. And it could. Oh, right. So I've found, I've read something here. This is very interesting. Right, so they've said there's a compatibility issue between the summon plugin we're using and Yamfly's battle plugin. And we do we're using lots of Yamflies, so um, yes. And they've also said the current problem is that the summon never gets a turn. That's kind of what's happening, right? 
the summons never attacking so it looks like it's uh, not our fault we've not done anything wrong um but the good thing is um this thread has a lot of replies so there might be someone who's fixed it and even if not we have another option here with this plugin and people have recommended this one because it's it's a bit more recent i think and it doesn't seem that there's meant there's as many comp compatibility issues it seems to be the same mechanic anyway as the other one so um we'll see what this one does as well did you see see the skill me that i share oh you mean your menu or something else i looked at your menu and saw that i don't know if you if there was something else that i didn't say and hi kira how you doing good to see you just finished up a nine hour stream oh my god how did you do it after four hours i'm ready to go to sleep but i'm an introvert so i tend to need my alone time to recharge my batteries again but good for you i bet you're tired bet you're really <laughs> and uh kind of not updated yeah so so yes i think it's probably sensible to go for this plugin instead what do you reckon then i mean i have used a few other um srd plugins that have worked okay, but the summon one seems a bit like it's um and just call me Cloud. Yes, Cloud Strife. That's who you are. Cloud Strife's in our stream, everybody. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> I'm laying in bed relaxing. Yes. Don't blame me. I hope it went well. What did you do in your stream? Feel free to tell us. Um Okay, folks, so we're going to give this other plugin a try now. Let's just read it through. Because I have dedicated today's stream to, to fit, sorting out this summon skill. Um, I wanted to spend the whole stream, you know, getting this summon working and making it cool. And then we can spend Friday's stream uh, picking sound effects for our skills, skill animations. Because I'm in the process currently of um finishing the skill animations and once the animations are done we'll want some sound effects to accompany those um and then other than that it'll be done basically be done then the next job is just balancing and getting the skill tree menu looking pretty um but balancing is something we'll be doing alongside um the this part as well and balancing is something that never stops we'll be doing that f throughout episode one's development probably um but but yes uh let's uh read the instructions so i've got so many tabs up right now i'm getting confused <laughs> but here we are um just worked on my own game made gear and items enemies oh that's re that's really cool and feel free to show us some screenshots in the creative work channel if you want to but only only if you want to of course <laughs> um right so some creatures that replace party and batteries are featuring many rpgs while it is possible to create a summoning system purely with events doing so can be quite cumbersome especially with a large number of actors this plugin is meant to reduce the event work for those of you who want to create a summoning mechanic with single summons that replace the entire party similar to am's in okay so this one looks to be a bit different it seems that the wolf will be the only one in battle um which you know i like i really liked how final fantasy 10 did that with the aeons and i want to at least see how it would work in our game uh, the the current pl the plugin before worked a bit differently to that but and i still liked that approach as well but we'll see how this one works too
I want to see a video. Okay, so it looks like there's a few compatibility issues, but the person seems like they were willing to sort them out. Yeah, let's see how it works in this person's game. I'm curious. Oh, sent you screenshot? Cool, let's let's look. Sometimes if I'm in the middle of summer, I might not be able to, I might miss screenshots. So the best place to put them is always the Discord, if you want to make sure, I see. Um, but, um, cool. You're using Yanfly's plugins as well, I see. Good choice. Also, I like the slimes. Okay. Um. Where's that video gone? It disappeared from my eyes. Here it is. Okay, let's make it bigger. So this is how this summoning plugin works, and I'm just having a look. Okay. This is exactly like Final Fantasy X's Aeon system by the look of it then. So I'm curious what you guys think in all honesty, like are you into the Aeon system like that we saw there where the party disappear and you're only, you have control of the summon and fight with them or do you like the previous method where the summon is with all the actors but you don't have control over the summon because there's two approaches there. Um, and this person said the plugin isn't compatible with various Yanfly plugins, but it does look like somebody has requested it. So if people did prefer the previous option, it's not the it's not a no. Because it seemed like well, I haven't checked the thread, so I don't know for sure, but Seems like they sorted the problem anyway. Majority is young, like, yeah, same. Because they, you know, they, uh, they're just the king of plugins, so can't blame us for going for those ones. Um, I think that if you want to use the FF style summon, that then the wolf bat battler needs to be cooler that's the thing yeah right i sort of am in, a, in agreement because it's almost like they have to be epic summons if the rest of the party are going to disappear and you're only fighting with uh the bat the the summon battler and nobody else um i'm i'm cool with both ways in all honesty I, I did get attached to the first option because i thought that was pretty neat having the summon there with us in the party um 
but i i don't dislike the final fantasy 10 way either but i i do agree that it would make sense if we had a cooler asset but i don't know if there are any unless because what this person did they didn't use the traditional pixel sprites for the summon they used a huge massive asset didn't they that looked to me to be in the style of the as that what, what's he called i can't pronounce his name but the guy that creates those fancy battlers i was a patron to him so i have all of his artwork so i'm sure there is, if if we could use that i've got plenty of badass looking uh, enemies hundreds of them and i'm sure there's a wolf among them that's a game wolf it, it wolves among us is a game so yeah um if we wanted to go for that route we would just not use the pixel tiny pixel wolf we'd use like a proper enemy sprite like a big giant enemy sprite sounds here so it looked epic a wolf version of one and hi scaly how you doing it's so good to see you thank you so much for the four months three month streak let's have some hype in chat guys and so, oh my goodness scaly i was like saying thank you there but thank you so much yeah thank you thank you for the sub what's that hype how are you doing scaly I'm cool with Bive. Could you use Bive like for the summon on the simple wolf with the party, but maybe for the summoner character you use bigger looking summons? Yeah, I th it might be possible to use both without there being a compatibility sh compatibility issue, but I don't know for sure whether that would clash or whether there would be an issue. Um, I think the main issue is with the first one, it's looking like it's not compatible and there's going to be a lot of work going into fixing it. Um, but it, it's not a definite no. Because it looks like people have requested um, a, like a fix so i haven't had the time to read through that properly yet so i don't know for sure but it's a cool idea van about having this way be um but there's some right now i'm kind of like considering both options one or the other or both at the same time i'm not sure i guess i need to have a good think and contemplate this and how we can do it but we might not have a choice if if one of the plugins the first one doesn't work we might have no choice but to do it this way i guess i guess experimenting and seeing what works and what doesn't is the only thing we can do at this point um what are you after a wolf-like creature yes and i i'm using the same artist for um our enemies for consistent so we can have consistency and I was actually a patron to them as well. So I have a ton of their assets in a folder somewhere. Literally hundreds. So I'm pretty confident there'll be one there. And in fact, I'm going to look just out of curiosity. So give me one sec. Um, I've got so many folders on yeah, my computer. It can take me a while to find the stuff. Um. Can the wolf appear as an enemy sprite on our side set to attack other enemy units? What you mean how it was at the start national? Because that's about what, what you're saying there is... Um, Oh, you mean have it appears an enemy sprite rather than an actor? I don't know if if because the plugin, the summon plugins I've got all seem to be making them work as actors. So I'm not I'm not at pro in code enough to change it that much. I don't I don't think the plugin would have to at least make that an option for me. If that's the case, and how about making the summon of the wolf be a wolf pack instead? Then it looks a little bit bigger without having to be made bigger. 
make it a random roll so one to three walls show up yeah, I guess we just have to think because the the hunter will have an owl and a fox as well as future summons potentially. And does that mean we have to have packs with them as well? It's we have to go with the theme, I suppose. And I I'm I'm sort of in agreement with what you first said, Van, about it not it looking a bit lost. The pit, the small tiny pixels um if we went for this mechanic i want to see if there is a wolf sprite because um it's hard to know what direction to go while we have while we don't know um okay so wolf i'm gonna search right guys is there a dragon bones one I don't know if we can if we can use dragon bones for summons though. Dragon bones is just a fancy version, fancy way of saying fluidly animated. Um, but we do we do have a few walls here, so I'm gonna open them all up. Well, I can just show a few them a few of you as an exam as an example. Um, so that's an example of why this is the artist we use for our enemy sprites so it would go with the enemies like you know face to face in battle you know they look consistent it would just have to be flipped i guess um, but that's if you wanted to go for the aeon thing you know rather than the having them side by side the actors as a pixel version of the wolf i guess we got two directions with here with how we can take it um is it line art or pixel art yeah it's uh, it's definitely line art this particular and we got a few others as well um that one looks a bit of an evil wolf though but we've got a got a few wolf sprites here um we even have a white version of the other wolf as well here so we got a, a gray or a white one um oh my god that one looks evil and there's, there's loads guys there's uh we've even got an, an we've even got a forest wolf hang on can we go across i don't want to cross then it won't let me so you see what i mean this is this is the patreon person who does battlers and just typing in wolf in the search got me all these because there's so many assets that i have that i was almost guaranteed to find a wolf basically because there's hundreds of enemies that i have um raindrops yeah you got the 500 nikki gg you, you good job of that lurking nikki so maybe for a hunter greater summon if you want to use that ff style summon you can use a werewolf yeah and another idea let's cut let's read all of chat then let's take all this in hi nungi how you doing another idea is a single usage summon the wolf brings an item and deals damage the owl one ko an enemy we've already defeated by cutting them off or else a massive damage and the fox does something else um yeah it's the werewolves are here down the page oh those walls are awesome if they change based on our area and chapter or we give uh, the player a choice if he wants the white wolf or the black wolf because that was one idea we had as well um Because it depends. I mean, we've got a few wolf asset, assets here. These are actually considered hunter pet wolves. That's what these ones are called. 
This black one here and this white one are called Hunter Pet Tools, so they're actually meant to be for hunters. Um, and these elemental ones here, I mean, the, these would be workable as actual enemies in the game, not necessarily summons, because that's what I had them for. That's why I um, became a patron of the person who made them, because I thought, yes, these will be great for, for all our enemies, we'll have a lot of choice here. And those are just wolves and <laughs> there's you know there's a lot there so it's just thinking of what to do guys because some of your ideas have been really have been cool i like the idea of just one strong hit as well but i did like the idea of the summoner being somebody that assists us in battle as well and we just have to take what we've got in all honesty we've only got two plugins here that that are potentially potentially usable and one of those plugins might not work because of incompatibility issues so we might have to just take what we have and what works um and right now um it's hard to like know for sure because i haven't tested either of them properly and um had to mess around to see which which one so i'm still like thinking here which one's the best one to go for how's it going today rose oh not too bad nungi we talking about summons today because um one of our classes currently in the game the hunter actually has a summon skill so we need to implement that one and it's interesting it's interesting to chat about this and see what direction to take it Though it'll be different from what you use, I'm itching to sprite a large wolf creature, are you? Well, that's very awesome. I always say, like, as long as, uh, you know, the art style fits with the game we're doing, then, yeah. But, um, but yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, it's uh, trying to think of the direction to take it. Because I do think if we were going to go for this plug-in here, this particular the epic ion one final fantasy 10 style looking at how this person's done it it seems like the right thing to do would to be would be to use the the set the enemy sprites that we have like those wolves that i just showed you those large ones rather than the tiny pixel ones but if we were going to go for this plugin the one that we looked at earlier in the stream which needs to be fixed because it's incompatible if we were going to go for that one it makes more sense to use the pixel sprites because the the wolf would need to look like our actors so for and uh, um because they work completely different to the two summon plugins this one is a plugin where the summon remains next to the actors so we want them to look the same um and uh the second plugins in completely different the actors aren't even there they disappear and it's just the enemies and the summon so for that reason the summon needs to look pretty large and um like the enemies which which works because like i say we've already got hundreds of assets of and a lot of choice of wolves so there's not really an issue there when it comes to assets with the second plugin and to be honest even with the first plugin we had that we had that pixel wolf which actually is pretty nice it's just getting the plugin working that's the problem with that one um there are some new battle ear options i found ears what ears <laughs> i don't know how this might be possible but there could be a party slot that is always filled with the hunter's summon but it is hidden and the summon command is basically a revive spell so you mean like it, it, an extra actor in the battle i'm just trying to make sure i'm understanding that one but it, it might be hard to code because, like I say, I'm not a coder, so I just have to give what I'm do what I'm given. I wish I could code, guys, and make awesome features myself, but I'm not. <laughs> um, right, so that's where the ears are. And sometimes these plugins already did the awesome features for us, so it's 
perfect if so but not always sometimes we just have to have what we're given that's where the ears are oh cool I'll have a look at that one later but yeah it can be fun looking through the assets just to see all the possibilities because I have to say there is a good a good selection a decent selection of assets and for certain things I'm definitely spoiled for choice like enemy sprites I've got plenty of those what I need what I feel like I'm struggling with when it comes to assets are definitely the backgrounds for the battles because the one that I'm using is a super the default forest one and I I would love one that actually looked more like the Everbloom forest with the flowers so if I don't end up getting a battle background that fits my needs I might have to do an edit myself and add some flowers somehow um some more battler options too like centaurs and lamia oh really is in like creatures that are pixel art ones because if there is you know it, it's uh i i did like the the method of using the pixel art animals in in as summons i i kind of did it's just that the the plugin that does it seems a little broke but i'm gonna give that other thread a read I don't know what this one was. This was more like Final Fantasy VIII. Not sh this one. I think this one might be. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Okay. Basically, this person had the exact same problem as us with so maybe they fix their problem and if they have if they fixed the problem that plugin still might be workable for us you know it doesn't mean that we can't still use it i mean i can't be 100 percent sure because i've got to say and test it myself first um and we still have that little hood problem as well that i don't know how i'm gonna fix that yet but i can mess around with it um, the good thing about the Aeon plugin, the Epic Aeon plugin seems like it's um, I, I don't I'd like to test this one before I get attached to it because we don't know how it'll look until it's tested. But right now I'm not going to give up on either of the plugins. I'm kind of going to experiment with both and see which option we like the most. Um, and see what one works the best and doesn't break. What sort of background do you want? Well, let's get let's get our test play up again just so you guys can see. Uh, so you know exactly what I'm referring to because one thing I have noticed with RPG Maker is it's short of battle backgrounds I've had a little look around and there doesn't seem many and by battle backgrounds this is what I mean this here the back you see the forest the trees background that we've got here this is just literally a, the default one that I've put there because it goes with Everbloom Forest but it could definitely be more flowery. There could even be a waterfall in the background, you know. Um, so it looked more like, or even a river, because that's uh, Everbloom Forest is quite cliffy. We have uh, cliffs and a river and flowers. And right now, this is just a standard forest. And it works, it looks fine, but it could be made to feel more like the Everbloom Forest, I feel rather than just a random forest but i noticed there wasn't much choice and there wasn't much out there with the battle background so i mean if i do a proper search then there's probably a few but there's not many that look like they have a boom forest in the test battle does the wolf disappear no matter how many turns you set for it to stick for yes um it just doesn't attack at all at the moment national um 
but the, the person that wrote on the forum had the exact same issue. And it's because of incompatibility why that didn't work with other plugins. Um, they said the summon never gets a turn, which is basically the same issue we've got. So we've bumped it a few times. However, after messing around with the order of the plugins a bit, it seems you have placed. No, that's not my issue. Because I haven't placed that one before, the Yanfly ones. I did not look through the code in order to detect of a possible Kabadu. Yeah, my plugin order, I'm very confident, is the right order, so. The characters that aren't in combat are now visible, but unfortunately, yeah. Basically, yes, that's what I'm going through to. There might be a toggle to disable the party from vanishing during the Aeon Summon. Maybe that's a thing in that person's plugin settings, but if it isn't then it might be impossible to do it all depends if the plugin creator has allowed it you know and like i said i'm not gonna say no to this one i want to at least download it and see what it lets us do what the options are i think it's worth giving it just a, a quick view and see how summoning works with that plugin but i'm still attached to this one and um seeing if we can get this one working first i think i'd say that this one will be our uh, sec plan b our plan b if uh, we can't get the this one working I don't know why that person's said that in this thread. Uh, let's go back. Um, You need to place the summon call plugin below every other plugin from Namfire, which I have done. So, seems, I don't know. Maybe um, it's not working for me for another reason. Because I have definitely put it in the right order. Um, hmm. Let me give this one a Google. How should I word it? It's unfortunate, it's like someone said in chat um, earlier that they're kind of not working now, these person's plugins. Um, and sometimes you have to either do it yourself and fix it or give up on it. What's this one then? So some... Yeah, so this person... This is basically what's going on here. Um, 
This person saw the Final Fantasy X star one and doesn't like how it replaces the whole party. They want to just add an actor, not replace all actors. So, yeah. Um. <laughs> That's funny. The person said... <laughs> He's given the link to the exact same script. Oh my god. Um, right. So that doesn't help at all. If we can, honestly, if we can fix and get the wolf having a turn then and fix that silly hood issue, then it should be fine. Just a few little silly things. So what is the name of the plugin you're currently wanting to use? Um, okay, it's called this. Let's put it in chat. There we go. Some random dude summon call. That's the actual name of it. So this person has, is having the same issue as us, basically. And someone replied saying, you can use this plugin. And it's the exact same plugin as the one we're having issues with. So, yeah um okay so maybe have a look at other threads i mean the only other thing we can do is see which plugin has the compatibility issue so what i'm gonna do in fact i'm gonna move that plugin up there i'm gonna move it higher i don't know i don't think that'll help but we'll see we're gonna do some testing god i'm gonna do some troubleshooting and see if we can get the wolf attacking before the end of stream that's gonna be the goal um hi pandak can you give me advice i'm gonna be programming games well i'd like to help but i'm 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 just learning to myself so if i can answer any questions that you have in particular feel free to ask but remember i'm no expert i'm just learning like yourself and everybody else um right so but welcome to the stream i hope having a good day but good luck with your adventure and i'm sure you'll make a fab game i believe in you um right did we unlock the wolf i can't remember if we did on this playthrough yes we did Cannot read properties moving of undefined. Okay. That might be because we moved the plugin. When we started a new game and we got that error last time, we fixed the problem though. There was just thunder. Did you hear that chat? We had thunder. Hope <laughs> maybe my mic didn't pick it up, but I heard it very loud and clear. Scary, scary thunder. Okay, um, hmm. Let's think. I'm going to move that one back down to where it was so we don't get the bug. Um, and I'm going to disable every single plugin. Just, to, just for proof if it's a compatibility error with uh, Yanfly. So, is everything off? Yeah, battle engine core and everything. 
link to that is off. And we're going to test it now and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then we know it's not those plugins that are the issue. Let's see. How do you change that wolf character's fur? The pixel art one epic or the big one? There's been a bazillion wolves that we've seen today. So, um, sounds nasty is, I don't like thunder. I don't like it at all. It's scared. This one allows you to leave the characters in too. Oh, that's, uh, oh, I just saw that you put in a link van. So that's it. That's actually another summon one. Interesting, because it seemed like there wasn't many that many options. People were asking, oh, were there any some plugins? And the only one that people gave was this one that we're currently using. Um, let's just, before we do the test play, let's just look. Um, and it leaves the couch into, yeah, I think that's the kind of vision we're going for, isn't it, in all honesty? I think we've got attached to this the way that the first plugin does it and i i i like the aeon version don't get me wrong but it's just such a different vision to what we imagined with our summons because it doesn't fit with our we would have to have completely different it would be more epic like you say a one-on-one -on -one battle between the summon and the enemies and that really i feel it is too op for this stage of the game to be introducing that for Dawning Wolf because it would make what one thing we said at the start of stream if we remember was that my aim is to make sure that this Hunter Wolf summon isn't too OP that was our goal wasn't it guys so mate the risk of the second summon plugin was that it was too OP and too epic for this stage of the game now something like that could work great for a like you say the summoning class maybe or it, to be honest I might want this summoning class to work the same as how these do as anyway and I I do like the Aeon 10 style plugin for summoning but it just feels very different to what i imagined anyway let's see this so let's get it up and this there we go now this is another plugin creator and i have used some of their plugins i think but not many so there's no like no uh, definite proof that this one won't be incompatible either but it's still another option if it is what we want so it's nice to have that extra option to see let's catch up with chat first um this one on sprites the work walking one on the street oh that's binary ferret's character, I know what you mean now. I have a wolf character, but I can't change their fur colour, which sucks. Please tell me how you change that wolf's fur colour. Um, in the generator. Um, uh, what, what is it now? You Do you know the default character generator in RPG Maker MV? Um, I actually put to the wolves in there the wolf assets I had but to be honest it's not 100% necessary to do it that way because I just used Photoshop, I used Photoshop to edit the colours if I have to but I think the way that I did it with that was the generator um so if you if you know of the do you know of the generator in RPG Maker MV the character generator because uh, that to be honest is the easiest way to do it um Sorry, Worky Well, look, hi, Binary. Sorry I called you out. It was someone mentioned your wolf character on stream and uh, meant they said that they want they want the fur, want to change the fur colour, so it's like that. So, <laughs> um, but you can look towards the end of the video to see the results at 6.20. Oh, yeah, we'll have a look, Van. Is that the one from the DLC pack? Because mine is from Hidden Ones pack. I think mine's a Hidden One Wolf as well. 
in all honesty. I think I literally just added the wolf assets to the generator and just changed their colour that way. So maybe you can do something similar. It's, it can be a bit of a pain to put assets in the generator, but it can be well worth it. Don't mind at all. Yay. <laughs> okay, so. I can't, I'm, I'm kind of skipping it now, but at the same time, I want to take it all in. What's here? So you said 610, Van. Yeah, it's probably better to see the result first. Here we go. I'm trying to figure out what's happening here. Those, those are the enemies, right? Okay. Um, so, looking at it, they just used a, a special skill, right? The actors weren't there, though, on that example, but... Yeah, I'll look into that one. Now, I'm a little bit uh, sceptical simply because this person's plugins might also clash with Ann Flies. Because they have their, they have their own battle system i think but i'll keep it there anyway because you never know but also we can thanks for the link now van um it's it's definitely something to consider if this one ends up uh balking on us but we'll say So it's all going to look very weird right now, folks, because I've disabled all the plugins. So, well, about half of them. So let's. Uh... Right. So is he going to attack this time? That's what I'm really curious about, because if he does, we know that those plugins are turned off at the issue. And sometimes I find it fun working these problems out. Okay, maximum. Right. This is the problem when you disable plugins. You end up getting error, errors come up. So. He was probably, maybe was he, was he about to attack then? I'm wondering what that bug was, why it was there. I'm gonna disable Mog Hunters as well, because that might have been why that messed up. In fact, I'm gonna disable everything apart from full screen. I'm gonna disable everything except for the core engine and the summon plugin. And then we can like literally see it at its if it works then. I just want to. I want to prove whether it's a compatibility issue, and I, I've got no proof unless I see with my own eyes that it works when everything's disabled. Because it might not be a compatibility compatibility issue. It might be um, something I've done wrong in the setup with the actors. I kind of want to see that. Um. This is, is this going to turn into a rage stream down plugins? You think I rage? Guys, have you ever seen me rage? I'm curious. When was the last time you saw me rage, guys? Um, and I'm using Bife MV Generator and Extended Generator, but it won't work. Really? Yeah, that's, funnily enough, Clyde, that's been, that's something that just seemed like it ha was, a, a, the engine allowed quite easily the change in the colour of the fur. Um, just I just use the engine and change the colours of the fur. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I can get up the engine after we've done this play test to show just show you a quick example. In fact, I'll do that now because it's going to distract me otherwise and it'll be on my mind. <laughs> so I just quickly just have a peep. It'll only take a mile. 
Um, right, so... Face. Now he's going to look a bit... Uh, he's got human features, so we'll just ignore those. And um, I think where I put the sprites... Here. So there they are. Um, and literally just... And then the face. Just change the colour that way. And he looks a mess because he's got human nose and mouth and yeah, everything mingled in. But you can see, you get the picture right. You just li literally just changed it with the colours. It took five seconds. But I don't know, maybe something's playing up in your generator that's not letting you do that, maybe. No idea what though. But I hope you get it fixed. Um... Nightmare fuel indeed. So I looked up a solution to that plugin you're using. Someone said this about that plugin. As for the summon one, I've just used events rather than the plugin to summon, which so far seems to work along with your plugin. But who knows if I'll run into future troubles. Oh, thanks, Van. Because if this ends up being a big pain, yes, I'll look into using events as well then. Um I have my day off tomorrow before Friday's stream and I do want to, I have already said that I'm going to spend the day finishing the Hunter and Vampire animations for the other skills because um, I've already done all the warrior ones um, and I want to get those done so we can have a sound effect stream on Friday. I want to, I'm probably going to make GIFs of the animations so you can see how they work and look and we can... And then when you guys can see those, you'll, we'll be able to think of cool sound effects that will match those. Um, and um, so that is something I want to do. So the summoning, I might put a back seat just for now and put to the side and have a look on randomly off stream now and again to how to fix this. But it might be an ongoing bug that I have to perfect, you know. But I'm glad that we've looked into it now today so it's something i'm aware of otherwise i'd never have known about this and it's something i can work on and obviously i'll update you guys as soon as we've got dawning wolf implemented i'll be letting you know that's for sure um oh thank you yeah so you've got it fixed now i'm, I'm really glad that's awesome because it sucks doesn't it when when you can't get something working um right so uh let's uh see I've disabled every single plugin, guys. So this is how my game looks when we don't have the two times zoom. It feels like whoa. Um, okay, so uh, everything's tiny, right? So the battle system's at its bare basics right now. We don't have the fancy UI anymore and the characters are all in the wrong position. Um, okay, so is he going to work? That's what I'm curious about. Okay, one thing I've realised is that the Dawning Wolf, you can actually fight as him. I thought it was automatic. Because the summon video never made it clear, you know. They never showed, really, if you were fighting as them or whether it was automatic. Um, it definitely makes sense while it's, why it's not working, then, if it's not automatic. Because I've not set up the UI for him. <laughs> not set up the battle commands. So that'd be... That'd probably be why... It didn't work. Let's see if he attacks. Yeah. Saw it, didn't you, with your own eyes, guys? The wolf just attacked. Obviously, we'd, we'd set up an action sequence for the wolf so that he runs up to the enemy and bites him because we don't... It, the, it just stood on the spot then and hit, attacked. But um, it worked, you know. We saw that he did attack. 
so that does help a lot um it's made me realize some things and i think what one thing that i should have done that i didn't do let's just put all the plugins back on now is I didn't set up his battle commands. And that's because I assumed that the summon was automatic, but he's not. He's not automatic. You have to fire as him. Um, turn off options core at the moment because I'm using that, but I think everything else is fine. Okay. Wolf, yay. God damn it, Envy, I know, right? Hmm, okay. Uh... Right, guys. So I'm going to see if we can set up some battle commands for this wolf. The goal, well, my ideal goal for the end of the stream would be to get him attacking when we've got ev all our plugins on. That would be fantastic if we can get that bit fixed. Uh, but if not, it's something I'm going to work on off stream. And I'll update you all and let you know when we get him working. But... I'll be focusing on getting those the other skills perfected animation wise between now and Friday's stream so that we can have a, a sound effect stream on Friday um okay so uh, classes is the one I think so something you might might I didn't realize is that we might need to do this for the wolf as well. So, it's something we didn't do. We didn't set up because I didn't think we needed to. Um, and right now, I'm literally going to make him a carbon copy of the hunter because I just want to see if it works. But if it, once we know it does work, then we can give him his own, obviously unique battle commands. Um, so let's see if that works now. It's, it's the way I do it, guys. Whenever there's a bug or something not working, I disable all the plugins. And then it helps me solve the problem of what's actually going on that way. And because we disabled all the plugins, I was able to realise what the problem was. So... Yay. <laughs> um, okay, that, so this one does Final Fantasy Star Summoning, but it doesn't use the plugin. So you can learn how to make an FF style summon without using any of those plugins from what I can see. Thanks for the link, Van. Because um, even though we get in there with this plugin now, we don't know for sure if it's gonna be our friend. It might still be end up being a pain in the butt and break for us. So I'm glad that you're giving me some some others just as backup so thanks um so i'm curious now if we'll get him to attack let's say There's a little, there's a few little hood bugs, like obviously that one, but um, there's a little icon bug at the top as well, but that, that will be fixable. I'm just delaying it because there's so many other things I need to do, so... He disappeared again! I'm gonna have to give him like four turns or something, aren't I? To make sure he at least gets a turn. Let's let's give him more turns. But you know, he might still be broke. It wouldn't surprise me if he was just broke. Which will mean we'll have to I'll look at that YouTube video Van sent me to figure out. Let's give him five turns for now. Because it's, it's uh, I can't ignore the fact that on the forums, a lot of people are saying that this plugin is incompatible with Yanfly's plugin. So, you know, it probably is. And it probably might not be fixable. 
Gotta go now, see you, Cloud. Take care. Thanks for hanging out with us today and have an awesome rest of your stream. That rest of your stream. What am I talking about? Have an awesome rest of your day. That's me that has to have an awesome rest of my stream. He needs a couple of turns to scratch out his fleas. Oh, has he has our little wolf boy got fleas? Oh, we need we'll have to fix him, won't we? I'm not sure about how the shadow looks, to be honest, I might want to edit that a bit. But you know, I'm not thinking of visuals right now. I want to get it working mechanically. Um So is he going to get a turn? He's appeared on the turn counter, I've noticed. Oh, he's got a turn. He got a turn. How come he ha he, we had to like say five turns though? He still disappeared after one turn. I wonder if we have eight turns, whether that would be a... Uh, whether that would give him three turns. I'm going to look because this is important. At the end of the day, it works, but it's no good if the turn count is not working properly because that means we won't be able to increase the turns in the future. So we need to check that. Okay. Hype. Well, we're making progress. I don't want his UI to show though. Is the the square here because it? You know what I mean. If we ever like have forty party members in battle, forty. I mean four, four party, and each of them could summon then there wouldn't be enough space for all those four summons as well so i'd want those invisible but i don't mind i don't mind the idea of controlling the, the character though and it having a turn i don't mind that bit so i just want to see if we can fix the turn count or do, is he still going to disappear after eight turns maybe He's, he's powerful. He's, he went, the, those plants did no damage to him. I don't think we balanced it properly yet. That's probably why. Um, did I just escape from the battle and I wasn't meant to? Or did the wolf do that for us? Because it looked like the wolf did it for us. I just want to see if he gets more than one turn this time. Oops, I made him skip his turn. Should have done that. Yeah, he went again. That's weird. That's the biggest issue now. The turn thing. Um... And that's a problem because we 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 want to we want to have more than one turn, like you know, in upgrades for this summon. So default turns minus one. The number of turns the summon actor lasts if it's not specified use minus one to make indefinite yeah it's on minus one there but we set it up as the whatever is in the database does override that so it should you know um Look, I'm going to just look at that YouTube video of Anne sent. Ooh, let's catch up with chat because um, 
There's another one that you sent. And Holder said, general chat in your Discord has my wolf draft. Thank you for inspiring wolf talk overload. Oh, really? I want to, I'm curious now. Oh, you've put it in. Uh, all the talk of wolves in the stream. Ah, oh, he, he looks like a good pet. I like him. <laughs> yeah, this has become a wolf stream. I'm gonna react. Okay. I took forever to get those reactions in the right spot. Okay, so thank you for sharing, Holder. And man, thank you for the other video as well. So I found one that lets the party stay. Um, oh, okay. Is that part, is that a follow up to the other link that you sent, by the way? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into this because uh, who knows, this might be the direction we need. Okay, let's have a watch. Let's watch a movie together, chat. Okay, can I get captions up because I don't have my earphones in currently, so. Um. So this is the first one you sent me, the first link. Is it not turns in general and not his individual turns? Um. Yeah, I think it's meant to mean his turns, in all honesty, because from the video I watched, that's how it seemed the setup was. Um, and it, it, I think the reason why the turns aren't working is because of it, the incompatibility with the Yamfly plugins. That's my theory, anyway, because there has been a, a warning that they're not compatible, so... But I'm not going to be disabling the Yanfly plugins because I need them. They're, they're what shape our whole game. <laughs> okay. Um, but we'll watch this because this is an interesting video. Is this is this a completely evented summon system then? Is that what this... Um, is this what this is? I want to I wanna watch it because I'm very intrigued and... I totally wouldn't be against eventing it, you know. Sometimes it's the best thing to do because it, it it solves incompatibility issues, you know. You know that it'll work. Um, I mean, as long as I got a guide, I, I couldn't do that, I think. It does an FF style summon. Which FF? Which find like the general FFs, the ones that you use as when you use a spell and they just use a special attack. Um. Hello, it's been well. Hi, Twisted. How are you doing? It's good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. So I'm just going to try and get what they're doing here i'd like to see an example as well so i might skip a bit for now because this is all the technical stuff that they're doing at the moment all the setup but i'd like to see how it works first i'm curious about that so um let's have a look Ifrit was summoned. Where's Ifrit then? Is that Ifrit? <laughs> I, mean, I need to watch it again because I totally didn't realise that character was Ifrit. <laughs> I want to say it again. I 
Okay. You said that the second video gets the actors up as well, though, didn't you? Yeah. But what happens then? Because they didn't really... I want to see more of a preview. I'll definitely be able to follow this much better when I'm off stream. When I'm... But let's just... Ooh. Ooh, orange sky. But this is really cool how they're doing it all in a common event, you know? I think that's a really neat way to do it. A non-plug-in way. I want to see the final of how this all looks at the end. Towards the end, yeah, let's have a look. And you know the second video you sent? Is that a follow-up to this one or is it a completely different um, version of doing it? Because I'll look at that one after, once you've looked at this one. I want to see the I want to see the summoning. Wow! <laughs> My goodness! <laughs> but I like I like that there's a bit of flexibility with this method. <laughs> Different one. It's sure. Oh right. I'll look at that one as well, though, and see which one's best. Because with this one. So yeah, in this one you have to not have the party members, it's just they appear and they do a special attack. That's basically what this is, I gather, from what I'm seeing. You know, which isn't a bad way of de doing summons in the game. I mean, it, it means that they don't get turns and you don't control them and you don't see the actors, but it's still... It's still pretty cool. And it's simple. And it's not too OP either, because we did say, you know, we don't don't want some Dawning Wolf to be too OP. I mean, I could imagine his special attack would be pretty epic, but it'll be weak and it'll get better with upgrades. Let's go. Let's go a bit further to the end. I think they're just showing different ways that they're doing it, aren't they? Oh, Ifrit's actually fighting this time. So they've gone for more of the Aeon route there with that one. Got the yawns. Okay, so looking at that, it's a common event, which is a fabulous way of doing it, I have to say. It'll be guaranteed to work that way. We won't get any plug-in compatibility issues. Um, it seems like, you know, it's a non-actor one. You don't see the actors with that. You, the summon just appears, and either, depending on how you want it, how we want it to be, they'll either use a skill and then disappear, or you'll get to control them for a bit. Um, it seems flexible, but let's have a look at the other one now. So that this one here lets the party stay. So I'm intrigued about this one as well. I'll get this one up in another tab. Okay. 
It's pretty cool that there's some YouTube videos on this. I should have considered this option myself. Good thinking, Van, for thinking of this. Because my first thought was to find plugins. But I'm, I'm learning that plugins aren't always the answer. You know, sometimes it pays to do things through events rather than plugins. Um, hi, Muffin. How are you doing? It's good to see you. How have you been, Muffin? I hope you're having a good week. So now let's watch this one. This one's only a couple of minutes long, so we might be able to watch it all the way through. So, you know, it's the same. We still have to assign the summon as an actor, just like we did with the plug. And the only difference is we get more control our own control through the common event with how we set it all up which is a very tidy way to do things um it's harder because you need knowledge but because someone's here doing a video of it showing how they do it it makes it straightforward enough you just have to copy <laughs> just to copy how this person's done it I've been stressed with all the in real life stuff going on. I'm managing now. Oh no, let's send you some hooks. And that's very understandable. For sure. There's some rows rather for you, Muffin Mancer. Been playing a lot of plugins and managed to get a full screen going, but it broke my own game. I fix it though. I try and learn and get learn learning get better eventing now. Yes, and my custom hero character creator is all done from eventing, and I was very proud of that because I didn't need a plugin. I just did the events and all myself as well. I just guessed how to do it, and um, <laughs> it worked. And there's no no plug-in problems with that because it's an event. It's all eventing. Um, so if you can, I think it's it's more sensible and smarter to do things through eventing. If you can do it, if you've got the knowledge on how to do it and if there's a tutorial. Um, but like sometimes you have to use plugins. There's no choice sometimes, you know. If you want to do something fancy that you don't know how to do. But you've always got to be careful, you know, because of incompatibility. That's why I tend to stick to the same plugin creators, because um, everything stays consistent then and works together. Um, I want. I haven't been watching this properly. <laughs> I need to go back. Is this the example here? Trying to work how you did that, I think I somewhat get what you did, yes. It's all conditional branches and variables. Lot of lot of time and energy to get them all set up. But it's straightforward enough once you've got the you've got the pattern of how it all works. When the battle's over or you stay. I'm not I need to watch this again. I'm like not focusing properly. There we go. Um Okay, so we've got someone in battle. She's summoned. That's the summon. I want to see more actors, you know, but I get the picture of how it works. It seems that it's very sim. It's basically the same as that some random dude's plugin, isn't it? He, he puts them there with the actor and they join the party in the hood. I wouldn't want the hood to show though for our summons, that's the thing. Um, but maybe there's a way about going about that. Right guys, so Thanks for the thanks for videos. I'm gonna keep them tabbed up, tabbed open. Um, for some reason, in my window capture when I play a YouTube video, it sticks sometimes. I've noticed, so I think it did then for you guys. Um, but um, there's a there's um 
There's a few summon tutorials I'm seeing here actually. There's another one there too. But now I've seen this, I'm very attempt I'm very tempted to um event event the summoning in our game. Someone says this only seems to work if you're below the ma below the max number of party members, which obviously that would be a something we wouldn't want. But yes, well, I look into more YouTube videos as well. And if if you if if anyone here finds any any of themselves, feel free to post them. Um, right. Okay, guys. So I also wanted to show you um, how how the adrenaline and um, war cry work for our warrior guys and um show you how their animations are so i'm gonna get up of the test play the video is still yeah for some reason it sticks it's weird because it was working for me but the window capture seems to like just make it stick i have to refresh the window to so it's a bit of a silly a bit silly but um but yeah it was the second video you sent me anyway, and I watched it, so. Okay, so, Warrior. Uh, yeah, the reason why that's happened is because of our uh, plugin. Let's disable that plugin, actually, now. So, we're going to disable the summon plugin because I'm not sure if we're going to use it. Um, part of me is very sceptical about using it because of the incompatibility issues. Even if we were to get it fixed, it might come back to haunt us at a later date. So, I'll, I'll look into following those YouTube videos. Um, I'd like to get the actors showing in battle. Um, but the what the second one seems like it doesn't work if you've got max actors, which we don't have at the moment, but eventually we will and um, of course we'll still want to summon when we've got max actors, so that might be an issue. But I'm gonna I'm gonna browse and see what we can do. There'll be a way to do it, I'm sure. Um Giving his axe is a bit stronger. Uh, okay, it's going to battle. I think I did learn the skills in the skill tree. Why is it? Why is it shut down? That's never happened before. So literally just doing a test play and it turned off. That is that summon plugin. That's what it what what it is. It's ruined the game. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Maybe it was just a weird one. -off. Yay! Hello again, Fantasia. The game's just completely breaking right now, which has never happened until I got that plugin. Might have to start a bunch of new games. Very weird. Is there, there's nothing I've done differently. I've it was li literally just the summon plugin, which I've now disabled. If I messed up my database somehow, I know I've got the wolf in here. Maybe I should delete him. I'm gonna delete. I'll delete this in case that's what's doing it. Yeah, let's just delete all this stuff. She saw me, yes. I'll always sit no tissue fantasia. Mm. 
Very weird, very strange stuff happening. Let's hope it's stopped now. Guys, what's happening? The game keeps shutting down. I'm so confused because there's absolutely no logical reason for why that's happening. I'm going to shut down RPG Maker and reload it again because it might be just an RPG Maker glitch, you know. Sometimes um, that can happen. I'm going to open up Task Manager and make sure it's properly shut down. Sometimes, um, you know, if you've got a lot of tabs running and software, it can't cope and shuts down because of that, but it's never been an issue while I've been streaming before. Okay, we'll just open it up again and see if it's going to behave itself this time. Did you save? Yeah, everything's everything's backed up and and saved. It's just a sh very strange because I've not ever experienced a game suddenly turning off before when I've done a play test. How dare it! Okay, I need to sort out the cache with those battlers and make sure they're preloaded as well. Because sometimes they, there's nobody there and battle and they come after a millisecond. Um, okay, so skills, adrenaline. So he's got an orange glow on him now. The icon's a bit weird on the hood, but I'll ignore that for now and fix that problem after. Um, but that's just a way to visually indicate that we've got adrenaline on us. Um, I don't know if the glow is perfect yet, but you get the picture. It's working. And um, Warcry will provoke this one. Um, so he's got a thing above his head and he sort of flashed red. I've got it so he's doing that pose to like show that he's provoking. He's in the middle of provoking. I thought that would be a good visual indicator. We'll do it to the other one too so that but both of those will attack just the one that's provoking them now rose won't get attacked that's basically the aim with that skill she's weak she's weak she needs her weapon equipped and he's not got his axe equipped either but you know that is how those two work so far anyway so we call to get some sound effects matched up with those and obviously when we go into a new battle like the effects wear off so it's a pretty cool plugin that allowed us to put those like little animations on because by default it doesn't let you do that it, um, you only get to see the animation play once when you use a skill but I like the fact that you can keep it there throughout as long, for as long as the player has um, the state or, and he's using the skill. Call action will thank you. I did it myself. It's actually based on Mog Hunter's wheel. Um, Mog Hunter's plugin has this little wheel, but it, it, the design of it's a lot more simple. I did a bit of editing to get it like this, but I like it. 
it's a lot better than how it looked a couple of weeks ago put it that way um so it, it's nice to like give the ui a fr like a fresh update and stuff i need to do it to the menus too but not yet because i like them focusing on the skills right now um no escape I want to get Ro get Rosie's skills unlocked on the skill tree, actually. But we don't have the animations for Rosie. What the hell is happening today? Um, the only thing I can think of is that I've got so many tabs open of the RPG makers just not coping and it can't run the game properly. Because I did read down line once that if you you know and my computer is old now and it's getting very loud and i have got about 20 tabs open and they're all videos a lot of them <laughs> so that's probably not helping but wow i hope it's gonna be okay i don't need you to be silly with me now rpg maker I've done well okay guys but yeah so i think we've like had a good chat today about the summons anyway i, I want to have a quick look before we finish today and if there's any other summoning videos that might take our fancy so there's another one here Really cool to see animations making great progress. Thank you, Radio. Yeah, and it's only Adrenaline and Warcry so far. We've got um, the other two friends. He doesn't need an animation because it's literally just a passive stat boost. Um, but the other passive of Warrior, which is, um, what was it called again? Squish It is a passive too. But um, I want to at least have either a visual indicator or a sound indicator that the skill has worked on that plant enemy um but i was thinking maybe a sound effect but i'm not sure I'm, i might still think of a visual animation for that one um and then yeah hunter and uh, rose's skills the vampires and that's what i'm gonna do on my day off tomorrow well it's not a day off just a day off from stream i'm still doing the work um yeah that's what i'm going to do tomorrow get the rest of the animations done and what i'd like to do is either get some quick gifs done of those skill animations or a quick video showing them off and i'll share those with you on um friday's stream and we'll we'll look for sounds to go with those animations because the sound will really just make them even better you know because it's missing the sound um so that'll be really fun to do think of some appropriate sounds because there's there's a lot of sound websites that give away free sounds so there's often quite a lot of choice it's just finding the good ones and the appropriate ones that are a good fit are you saving versions so just in case you have to go back to another version i think so i think it's i think i mean i'm backing up art raindrop chronicles every week onto my google drives the game will be fine if anything drastic does happen but uh i don't know about the versions i mean i know i've got the most recent one but i actually have rpg maker mv on steam and i think it's all automatic how it how that does it i know maybe i should look into it and see what how to sort that out have a good night rose thank you luna is that irish or scottish it's actually english so you were close. You were you were close. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm close to both those countries. <laughs> um, okay, so but welcome to stream. How's our art? It's good to have you here. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. So let's just see how this one deals with summons. Um, okay, I skipped it and I probably shouldn't have. I was getting impatient. Okay. 
well, um, OP summon. Seems that that summon is literally, you know, a Final Fantasy style summon as well. It just, it's just a special spell where an, uh, a creature appears. And if we wanted to do that, we could, if if uh, we felt that was the direction to go. But I think we got attached to the idea of them fighting in battle with us too. But I don't know how difficult that's going to be to implement. I'll look into the event and, and see what we can do. I'm going to have a mess around this week and next week anyway off stream with the summoning. And um, when I've learned a bit and understood how it works better i'll be able to give you guys a bit more info on how that's going um greetings dear says hi true baldy how you doing it's good to see you again how are things going for you this week i hope you've been well yeah so this one is inspired by four five and six summons which is a nice one. It was just, uh, that one's a little bit more like a, a special spell. Um, you don't really get control over the summon or anything. But we can look at the, I'm still going to watch, um, I think that this uh, first video that Van sent is an interesting one. Um, it doesn't have the actors in battle. The second one did, but I'm a bit I'm a bit concerned by that comment there by the first person. He said this only seems to work if you're below the max number of party members. So that's my only concern with that one because we won't want that. We'll, well, I'll look into it. Things are going great. I will release two new tracks very soon. Just polish them and gave them final touch. Now I have to do some kind of video, but I'm not good at video and good at, at video editing. So well good look, I believe in you. We all we all have to sometimes do things that we're not as good at. I know how that feels. Me doing skill stuff and coding RPG maker is my weak point but point, but you will do it. I believe in you. And GG on the tracks as well. That's very funny. If you ever want to post them in our creative work channel, you, you're more than welcome to. Okay, guys. So, I've had... It's been a fun stream. It's been a, a talk stream about ideas and all about summons and about how we're going to implement them today. And I think it was um, a useful stream because... It was something we hadn't yet talked about and it's something we're having to do right now with one of our hunter's skills. So it was a definitely important conversation to have and um, at least now we have a little bit direction on where we're going to go with the summoning. Um, And uh, great stream, Miss Mouse Fits. I know what it's where I do. Sometimes that happens, you know. I hope you're having a good day, though. Thanks for hanging out and lurking all the same. And that goes for everybody else, too. Um, okay, guys. So, I'm going to send us over to somebody who's streaming right now. Um, somebody's playing my favourite game. Someone I'm following is playing my favourite game, so... I think that that needs to happen today. And that game is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, by the way. So, um, I will see you all on Friday, guys. And, um, exclamation mark raid. Put in those bat emotes in chat. If you don't have them, then put in some of your own that you do have. That'd be fantastic. Um... Have a lovely evening as well, True Bowl Day. Cheers for stream. Thank you, Binary. Thanks for hanging out, guys. So I will see you all on Friday. Take care. And hopefully we can I can get those animations finished for the other skills so we can do some sound effects for them. That'd be great, because that'll be the final step then. Sounds is the final step. 
Okay, take care, everybody. Have a good day.